Uh, we are committed uh, as a joint team with SPP and uh, our party DPP to take down Pishan Tupayo. I think on nomination day itself, uh, we are actually very, very confident that SPP will have uh, candidates to join our team. We've met them, they've got some very good people there. Uh, I think it's a question of just giving the CEC uh, the time to make a decision. Uh, we will not want to envisage a point where we are going in alone at all. If that does happen, we want to make sure that it's something that both CECs have agreed, that Mrs. Chum is comfortable, because ultimately we want to make sure that this, uh, constitu this constituency, Bishan Topaya GRC, uh, doesn't come under the PAP again. So that's, I think, a common goal that we work towards. And uh, as for Nadine being mentally prepared, you know, if you did yep. come forward? Yeah. I mean, it's something that, you know, we thought long and hard about, we mean, meaning my family and I, because we're all engaged. Um, and I didn't come out publicly to be revealed um, before being um, certain that we could and I could uh, devote the, do the best job that I can um, and also ensure that I don't too much negatively impact my own personal life and career. Well, yeah, there are a bunch of negative e effects. I mean, starting just from the time spent. I have small children. I have a business that take, takes a lot of time. Um, but, you know, and there are other impacts as well. You know, being in opposition is still a little bit of an allergic factor in Singapore. So, yeah, of course I've uh, thought about it. Um, why did I step forward? Well, because I think it's time. Um, and if not our generation, then who? Um, I've always been someone who's asked awkward questions from secondary school time, uh, even before probably. Um, and I, I always kind of wait around and see, is anyone going to stand up and say what needs to be said? And if nobody stands up to say what needs to be said, I'll stand up and say what needs to be said. And I see this very much as uh, you know, a similar step. Uh, in addition to that, um, many of my peers are in, in government itself, right? Many of our classmates and our school friends. And I think um, we, uh, they, know who, they know me, they know why I ask the questions, they know how I ask the questions, they know the intent behind the questions. I intend to solve problems, I don't intend to beat them up or anything like that. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully stepping in there we can be a col collaborative uh, team um, that can work as a team with them, opposition and government as a team for Singapore. Uh, so why DPP? Uh, ben and I have known each other since school days. And uh, when I came back to Singapore 2006, um, yeah, I eventually ran into him, started working with him uh, on a technology front because he's a, a technology entrepreneur and I work in te technology startups as well. Uh, he's also very interested in technology as helping social enterprise. Um, and I started working with him doing uh, uh, social work for his foundation. And from there on, he invited me to uh, contribute to uh, some of the policy discussions that they were having. Um, he's, what, what, what I see there is an openness to listen um, and an openness to trying new things and to talking to as many different um, people with ideas as possible and float, you know, sort of a, a process of iterative and collaborative policy making, if you will. Uh, that I think is something that we would like to help to contribute to uh, to the, the sort of the larger process of governance in general. We're absolutely not here to uh, throw stones, um, and I would not have joined if it was a party that in any way stood for that kind of thing. Um, so, I mean, just generally the the breadth of um, uh, ground that 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 Ben covers. Uh, and the spirit and the integrity behind which he, you know, he brings things to the table is, is the reason why I joined him.